Welcome to the official how to play video for Champions of Meundir. The goal of this video is to give you a basic overview of the game. Although the best way to learn is to play with someone who already knows how to play, it can be helpful to know a bit about the game before jumping in for the first time. Champions of Meundir is a turn-based card game designed for players who love deck construction and free-for-all multiplayer interaction. To play a game, each player assembles a deck of cards and brings it into the game. It's best experienced as a four-player free-for-all, but can also be played one versus one. Each game of Champions represents an unfolding story being told within the fantasy world of Meundir. The goal of the game is to be the first player to score 20 points. We'll go over how points are scored later, but first let's talk about the cards. There are five types of cards in the game, denizens, locations, items, tactics, and campaigns. The first card type we'll cover is the denizen card. Denizen cards represent people and animals who call me under your home, they are the characters within the unfolding story of the game. The number in the top left is the denizen's gold value. A card's gold value is used to determine how much gold it costs to play. Gold is the primary resource of the game. The symbol below a denizen's gold value denotes its alignment. A card can be aligned to one of five alignment types. Here's how the alignment mechanic works with card costs. If you share an alignment with a card you're playing, the card's cost is simply equal to its gold value. If not, the card costs two extra gold to play. This extra cost is called alignment tax. The number in the middle left is the denizen's power. A denizen's power determines how much damage it deals when it attacks and defends. The number in the middle right is the denizen's health. Cards with health can be attacked and dealt damage. A card's health decreases when it takes damage, and if its health is decreased to zero, the card is removed from play. If a card has any abilities, they'll be written in the text box on the bottom portion of the card. The next card type we'll cover is the location card. Location cards represent various places within the world of Meundir. They set the stage for the story. Playing location cards is the most common way to become aligned. Many locations have an ability that'll align you to one of the five alignment types. Unlike denizen cards, location cards don't cost gold to play. However, like denizens, locations have health, and get removed if their health becomes zero. Next up, we'll talk about item cards. Item cards represent tools and equipment which help denizens to reach their goals. Like denizens, items have a gold value, which means they cost gold to play. However, item cards are always unaligned, which means you never have to pay alignment tax when playing them. This makes items quite versatile as a card type. Items also have health, just like denizens and locations. Next, we have tactic cards. Tactic cards represent quick actions or events. Unlike the three types of cards previously covered, tactics don't have health. Rather, when you play a tactic, you carry out the instructions written on the card, then remove it from play. And finally, we have campaign cards. Campaign cards represent events which take place over an extended period of time. Like tactics, campaigns don't have health. The number in the middle right of a campaign card denotes the number of phases it has. Each turn after it's played, a campaign gets a phase counter. Putting phase counters on campaigns unlock their abilities. If a campaign has one phase counter, its phase 1 ability can be used, if it has two phase counters, its phase 2 ability can be used, and so on. When a campaign's last phase ability is used, the campaign is considered complete and is removed from play. Now, we'll go over how points are scored. Some denizen cards have the unique subtype. Unique denizens have abilities that score you points when they're in play. Each one has its own unique way of scoring points. They're like the main characters in the story that each game represents. A Champions of Meundia deck must have at least one unique denizen in it, and one of those unique denizens must be designated as the deck's champion. Your champion represents the protagonist of the story, from your point of view. A deck must have exactly 51 cards, one champion card, and 50 non-champion cards. 
A deck can have up to two copies of any non-unique card, and up to one copy of any unique card. To set up a game, each player does the following. 1. Place your champion face up in your champion zone. You'll be able to play your champion from this zone later. If your champion gets removed after being played, it goes back to this zone. 2. Shuffle the rest of your deck and place it in a face-down pile beside your champion zone. 3. Roll dice to decide who will go first. 4. Draw 7 cards from your deck. This is your hand. 5. Complete a mulligan. To do this, put any number of cards from your hand on the bottom of your deck, draw back up to 7 cards. Then shuffle your deck. 6. If it's a 1 versus 1 game, the player going second produces a supply cash token. This is a special location given to the second player to make up for the disadvantage of going second. Once everyone is ready, the game begins. During your turn, you can perform the following turn actions. Begin the turn, play cards, use activated abilities, make attacks, use free draw action, abandon a location, sell an item, reset your hand, end the turn. Beginning the turn. Beginning the turn is the first action you perform each turn. When you perform this action, you gain gold equal to the number of turns you've taken this game. For example, when you begin your first turn, you gain 1 gold. When you begin your second turn, you gain 2 gold. And so on. Then, if you have any campaigns in play, put a phase counter on each of them. Once you've performed this action, you can take other turn actions. Playing cards. You can play cards from your hand or champion zone as long as you have the gold to do so. Playing cards is the primary way to progress your game plan. Using activated abilities. Some cards have activated abilities that can be used once they're in play. An activated ability can be used up to one time each turn to produce an effect. There are two types of activated abilities, paid abilities and conditional abilities. Paid abilities cost gold to use. They're written as, cost, colon, effect. Conditional abilities don't cost gold, but can only be used if a specified condition has been met. These abilities have special keywords that represent their activation conditions. They're written as, condition, colon, effect. Making attacks. Denizens can attack other denizens, items, or locations. To make an attack, you do the following. 1. Choose one of your denizens to be the attacker. 2. Choose one of your opponent's denizens, items, or locations to be the defender. 3. Have the attacker deal damage to the defender equal to its power. Then, if the defender is a denizen, have it deal damage equal to its power to the attacker. Keep in mind that a denizen can't attack on the same turn it entered play. Using the free draw action. Once each turn, you may use the free draw action to draw a card from your deck. Keep in mind that your hand is considered full, if it has 7 cards. If you draw a card while your hand is full, you must place the card back on top of your deck. Because of this, you should only use the free draw action when your hand has 6 or fewer cards in it. Abandoning a location. Once each turn, you may abandon a location. This means removing one of your locations, then drawing a card. As with the free draw action, you should only abandon a location when your hand has six or fewer cards in it. Selling an item. Once each turn, you may sell an item. This means gaining gold equal to the gold value of one of your items, then removing that item. Reset your hand. Resetting your hand is something you generally try to avoid doing. However, it may be necessary to do it in situations where you've run out of better options. To reset your hand, put all cards in your hand on the bottom of your deck. Draw 7 cards. Then shuffle your deck. You can't reset your hand if you've played a card, activated an ability, made an attack, abandoned a location, or sold an item this turn. Immediately after doing this, you must end your turn. Ending the turn. Ending the turn is the last action you perform each turn. You do this when you're done with your turn. 
When you perform this action, you lose all unspent gold, then remove all expired campaigns. An expired campaign is one that has a number of phase counters equal to the number in its phase indicator, but wasn't completed during the turn. Once you've performed this action, the turn is passed to the next player. Note that with the exception of the first and last turn actions, there is no prescribed order in which you must perform turn actions. For example, you could make an attack, then play a card, make another attack, activate an ability, use the free draw action, then play another card. You win the game if you're the first player to score 20 points. Keep in mind that a game has 10 turn cycles, which means that each player can take a maximum of 10 turns before the game ends. Because of this, it's possible for a game to end before any player reaches 20 points. If this happens, the player with the highest score wins the game. Congratulations! If you've made it this far into the video, you're ready to start playing. On our website, meundia.com, you'll find a link to our Discord server, which is everything you need to get started. In the links channel of our Discord server, you'll find access to the new player reference document. We recommend having this with you while you're learning the game. Also in the links channel, you'll find access to the Champions of Meundia browser app. The browser app allows players to connect and play for free through a web browser. It's also a great tool for building and testing decks. The exciting world of Meundia awaits. See you there.